I'm going to hold your hand as I say this. It's not all about genetics, okay? It's all about length retention. I love to use a lot of moisturizer. If you follow everything that I wrote down here and your hair is still no growing, you are doing something wrong. I feel like YouTube is starting to do its thing to recommend my videos to the right audience. Thank you, YouTube. Please, if you are not ready for this hair growth challenge, don't embark on it. This is for the serious minded kind of people. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Brenda Okolata and I'm a Nigerian based YouTuber. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you all my moisturizing routine. In the previous video, I showed you all how I wash my hair. That's my wash day routine. But because I didn't want the video to be too long, because it was already over 10 minutes, I had to cut it um, there and do a part two, which is the moisturizing routine. So guys, that is what we're going to be doing today. I have moisturized this part of my hair. You can see. Yeah, I've moisturized it. And the reason why I'm using this um, hair clip to hold it down is because I don't want it to shrink up. Since I'm going to be making um, mini twist. Yeah, that is a protective hairstyle I love to make. So guys, um subscribe if you're new and share this video to your loved ones okay let's go so it's really this part of my hair that i've not yet moisturized let's start with the products i'm going to be using i'm going to be using the hair mist yeah this is from core crown guys i have shown you guys uh different videos of how you can make your hair mist please scroll through the channel or to make it easy for all of you i'll put the links in the description box yeah, the link for the hair mist, um, the moisturizing conditioner. Did I make a video of this? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, the hair growth oil and the hair growth butter. So these are the four products I'm going to be using to moisturize my hair. And the method I use for people that are low prosthetic, someone like me, is the LCO method, or you can call it the LCCO method, which I'm going to be displaying in this video. Um, if you have high prosthetic, I believe the LOC method will work for you. All right, I'm going to be spraying this on my scalp and on my hair, the massage very well. If you haven't learned how to make this spray, it's literally the easiest way you can use Ayurvedic herbs to grow your hair. And that is why in my rules, one of the things I mentioned there is that we have to include Ayurvedic herb. It is the moisturizing leave-in conditioner. I love to use a lot of moisturizers and that's because not only that this will keep your hair moisturized for days but it also helps to detangle your hair so this is the amount i am using after all this hair is very thick so unless if your hair is thin then there's no need of you using heavy moisturizer like the one i'm using you can see this see the big thing i put right see the way this hair I've sucked it in i really love using moisturizing leave-in conditioner especially for people that have fussy kind of hair this will really help to uh, moisturize and detangle your hair next is the hair growth butter this hair growth butter is almost finished but one thing i love about it is that a little goes a long way the hair growth butter is packed with a lot of ingredients or nutrients that is being used to seal your moisture in um, helps with split ends helps with dandruff when you um, apply it on your scalp and uh, yeah you can also um, start doing your finger detangling after applying the hair growth butter and uh, finger detangling is one of the ways you can minimize hair breakage uh, before using the wide tooth comb but before using your brushes those of you that are used to brushes well if you are used to brushes please you need to be very careful because brushes have a way of thinning your hair so that's why i normally use wide tooth comb um to detangle my hair you can never catch me with brushes hair growth oil a lot of this not really a lot because it also goes a long way for this one too 
The hair growth oil is also used for sealing in moisture. It can be used for hair growth, obviously, from the name hair growth oil. So not only that I apply this all over my hair, I also make sure the tips of my hair, which are the oldest and weakest part of the hair, also the roots of my hair. So I start detangling from the tip. I feel like most of you must have known how I detangle my hair by now. But for the sake of those that are just tuning in or those that are new because i noticed that every day new people are coming in i am so grateful and i feel like youtube is starting to do its thing to recommend my videos to the right audience thank you youtube when i'm done detangling the hair next i'm going to be putting this into mini twist which is the protective hairstyle for the hair growth and length retention challenge please watch this video to the end so that you will see the rules that i made for this hair growth challenge just in case you may want to join and uh, other hairstyles that are permitted for this uh, challenge here is uh, um, corn rolls mini braids yeah these two hairstyles are also permitted and uh, please let us not make it tight or tiny so we're almost done remaining two more twists and please be very very mindful of the sizes you are making don't make anything that is too tiny and uh, yeah it will lead to hair breakage if you make something very tiny when loosening it and even the process of making it you will also experience hair breakage remember what we said it's all about length retention so let's try to retain okay, length guys, you can see i'm done with the twisting next on the line is um, the rules we're going to be following for the hair growth and length retention challenge in case you're not aware in case you're new here we are um, getting ready for hair growth and length retention challenge because i noticed that most people struggle with length retention and they think that their hair is not growing but in the actual sense your hair is growing just that it breaks a lot so it's more of how to retain length and of course in order for things to work effectively and efficiently there has to be rules and regulations that is why i had to create these rules these are the things i have been following to grow my hair to this length so let's discuss let me explain the rules for you all so that you will get started how we're going to be moisturizing the hair within the week this hairstyle i'm going to be carrying for four weeks yeah now after two weeks of carrying the hairstyle we're going to put hair mask you hear yeah we're going to use hair mask then for the remaining two weeks we'll take it down do the wash day this is what the wash day looks like just check the description box you watch it again in case you have not seen it after washing it We'll re-moisturize it. It's the same thing I did today. Put it in this protective hairstyle and repeat the same thing, just like a cycle. Okay? We we'll go the same thing. That is it. There's no, there's no magic. We're not using rice water. We're not using okra gel. We're not using any special concussion for this hair growth and length retention challenge. It's all about how we are to build the hair growth routine and using hair care products that is it there's no special way to this okay so let me explain the rules i'm going to hold your hand as i say this it's not all about genetics okay it's all about length retention that is it so guys these are the rules we are going to be following for the hair growth and length retention challenge they are very simple in case you are not used to them that means you have not been following up on the things i've been doing on this youtube channel so i had to write the rules down and also type it down and post on all socials instagram tiktok and here on youtube so that those that want to embark on this hair growth and length retention challenge with me will know what to do and what not to do please if you are not ready for this hair growth challenge don't embark on it this is for the serious minded kind of people people that actually want to see difference your hair will grow your hair can grow it's all about length retention i promise you there's no magic to this genetic plays a role yes but the role genetic plays is just like 20 percent 20 to 30 percent the rest is all about how you manage your hair how you manipulate your hair the hairstyles you make the products you use the food you eat and 
that is it and the four basic things we're going to be doing here hair growth oil and tea spray the tea spray and the hair growth oil or the hair mist people call it hair mist some call it tea spray these two things should be used three to five times in a week you sprinkle the tea spray on your scalp then follow immediately with the hair growth oil on your scalp on your hair massage very well okay you can do this in the morning and the evening but it's more effective in the evenings next we have uh the tea spray moisturizing leave-in conditioner and the hair growth butter majority of people don't see results when they use the tea spray because they don't use it the right way in fact they end up saying that the tea spray breaks their hair it doesn't break your hair if you do it the right way if you notice that when after using clove rosemary moringa all these things and your hair is breaking then that means you are doing something wrong because the work of this ayurvedic herbs is to strengthen your hair help you retain length and to promote hair growth some of them even help you to clarify your scalp something like rosemary and uh, fenugreek it helps with dandruff and give giving you healthy scalp but if you are not doing these things the right way there's no way you will see results all right that is why i mentioned in the first place that the tea spray when you're done using it on your scalp uh, pack it up with the hair growth oil immediately if you use only tea spray on your scalp and on your hair you will not see results it won't be causing hair breakage when you spread the tea spray on your hair follow up with a moisturizing leave-in conditioner and a hair growth butter the leave the tea spray like i mentioned will strengthen your hair will uh help you retain length will hydrate your hair will thicken your hair the moisturizing leave-in conditioner will help to soften your hair and to seal in moisture the same goes with the hair growth butter okay it will help to seal in moisture but if you don't use the body if, if you don't use this leave-in conditioner and the hair growth butter that tea spray will break your hair so i don't think you want that please just be very very mindful of the tea spray it can either make your hair or it can break your hair it all depends on how you choose to use it next on the line is the food we eat please drink enough water majority of you don't drink sufficient water um six to eight glasses of water in a day is what is recommended even scientifically and this it's actually proving that not drinking enough water can stunt hair growth so you need to be very careful about that they will have uh, the fruits eat a lot of fruits and veggies fruits that contain fibers they help in promoting hair growth eat lots of proteins egg shrimp fish beef sardine <laughs> the list goes on so if you are malnourished it will help it to affect your hair if you are not drinking sufficient water whatever you do will affect your hair okay that is it then we also have the wash day please let me just at uh, this video go and watch it is how how we're going to be handling our hair uh, during wash days never uh do your wash day without using hair mask you must use hair mask if you want that thicker fuller hair longer hair you have to use hair mask it also helps to um to retain length moisturize your your hair during the wash days so not using hair mask is not an excuse you can do diy hair masks i've made uh, a video different videos of how i made diy hair masks and you have to include store box hair mask so these are the things that you have to do in order for your for your hair to thrive uh within this period of us doing this hair growth and length retention challenge so we're going to be doing this challenge for three months and by the time we are done with this challenge there's absolutely no way you will not see results i really hope this video will find you well and please do well to leave your comments if you have questions let me know and i will tackle the questions immediately okay thank you so much and see you in my next upload Mwah. peace